For more videos on people's struggles, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Sao Paulo state in Brazil has announced code red COVID-19 restrictions as the country witnessed a record number of deaths in the last two days. In just more than a year since the first registered case, more than 10.7 million people have been infected and more than 259,000 people have lost their lives to the virus. The pandemic's trajectory in the nation has been characterized by political controversies, the absence of a national plan to combat the illness and the dismissal of preventive measures. Brazil is currently ranked 117th globally in the number of tests it carries out. The country never implemented any effective contact tracing and fewer and fewer people are practicing physical distancing. This scenario was created by the narratives spouted by President Herr Bolsonaro himself. In March, the first time the president went on TV to criticize the quarantine, Brazil had more than 60% of the population staying at home. After that, the indexes dropped. Since then, even as the death toll rapidly increased, the president continued to minimize the effects of the pandemic. He encouraged the normal movement of people on the streets and cast doubt on pandemic figures. To make matters worse, he also insisted on defending the use of drugs, which had not been scientifically verified as a form of treatment against COVID-19. Meanwhile, research by the Oswaldo Cruz Foundation, Fio Cruz, in Amazonia points out that the viral load of the P1 strain of the novel coronavirus, which is the variant recognized in Amazonas, can be up to 10 times greater when compared to other strains of the disease. The variant is also said to be twice as transmissible than the earlier variant and the chance of reinfection is anywhere between 25% and 60%. A survey by the Center for Research and Studies on Health Law of the University of Sao Paulo in partnership with the Connectors Human Rights, an NGO, concluded that the government knowingly acted to undermine the fight against coronavirus. The periodic newsletter writes in the pandemic bulletin analyzed more than 3,000 decisions made by the Hare Bolsonaro administration regarding the pandemic. This includes laws, provisional measures, decrees, and other mechanisms that, despite their quantity, did not meet the needs brought on by the crisis. In addition to this, Brazilian jurists filed a criminal representation with the Attorney General's office against President Herr Bolsonaro for crimes against public health, infringement of preventive health measures, irregular use of public funds or resources, malfeasance, and endangering people's lives or health. Meanwhile, social movements have been mobilizing on the ground against the mismanagement of the pandemic by Bolsonaro for months now. On February 19th and 21st, protesters rallied in multiple cities to demand the resignation of President Herr Bolsonaro. Cars paraded in major cities, blaring horns with their windows painted with slogans such as Bolsonaro out, impeachment now and vaccination for all. The protest action was called by the Popular Brazil Front and the People Without Fear Front. Some 9.8 million Brazilians, that is only 4.4% of the population, have received at least one dose of the vaccine so far. Brazil could vaccinate up to 60 million people a month, but the movements consider that there is no political will on the part of the government to buy immunizers. They also objected to the termination of the emergency financial assistance in December, which helped one third of the population to survive the pandemic. More protests are expected, demanding the ousting of Bolsonaro.